Well, and then later on, it's like, all right, I got, uh, all right. I, I know the date now, and just see him in the guards eating grass, saying, oh, good, you're back. Now I can reward you with a cup of daddy's kosher cup mad cow milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking son. Oh, good. Anyway, now that we've got the hidden objects, let's go off to the room. Into the room. Oh, hi, Queen. <laughs> so I thought it was the other way around. He goes, oh, hi, Batter. What a funny... What? So, uh, <laughs> Toby was so is the Queen? No, no, Toby was so sitting in there next to the Queen. It's, I am... it's bullshit. I did not hit her. It's not well, he's true. been cheating on Lisa with the Queen. Yeah. I did, I did not hit her. It's not, No, no, it's, it's not Tommy was so... It's just character from the room. It's just Tommy was so normally. Oh. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Also, Seth Rogen's over there. That's very cool. Oh, hi, Batter. That's actual dialogue from him, by the way. Can, like, have you seen that Vanity Fair thing where the archers break down their most famous roles? No. It's like a series of videos, but um, they've got what, like... So they have William Dafoe on talking about Spider-Man and stuff. But um, the album with Tommy was so... Where they got him on to um, break down the disastrous version of the I did not hit her scene. Mm -hmm. And there's just a bit in the middle where he pauses it for no reason. He just goes, so Seth Rogen right here, which is a very cool thing. <laughs> it's like, Tommy Rousseau's a fucking alien. That's right, I forgot how glitchy this was. How glitchy? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a puzzle, which means we have to write these down, don't we? Sunday of the 11th, February. Winking smiley face. <laughs> so he plays together. He gave me a comic. He also told me how to take the pills. What? So he gave him. What, Marvel New Warriors? <laughs> no, even. Daddy, can I have your <laughs> pills? Of course you can, son. <laughs> even worse. He gave him a copy of the New Guardians. I don't think it's worse than the new Warriors. Snow flame. Snow flame. No, that's good in comparison to the no, no, new that, Warriors. No, no. no, that's what he was taking the pills for. It was crack. No, you take drugs to enhance your experience of new Guardians. What you do for new Warriors, he takes on to double the pain. True. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that new Warriors actually got cancelled, though, is the thing. Yeah, the video. For some reason, it's still up. The comments are still up and the ratio is still up. It's like a uh, 1 to 50 like-dislike ratio. As it deserves, though. Yeah. The guy admitted Hon honest superheroes intimidated him as a kid, and now he wants uh, he's writing superheroes he wants to. So basically, uh, he's writing superheroes that don't intimidate him. Honestly, I'm just disappointed by how they did the um, fat character for that. Kit, no, Kit, like you, there are good plus size characters. I remember we had this discussion about uh, fat uh, characters being done well. Yeah, like um, I can never remember. I think it's Terry from um, Tarkin. I think it's Terry Belgart from Tarkin. I don't know much about Tarkin. But, um, can they have an entire character arc over the games about him, like, deliberately putting weight on to be in the heavyweight circuit? Mm -hmm. And it's done well. Can't, like, they portray him as having, like, proper tall and large shop clothes, etc., etc. Um, no, that was going to say. I think it's, I can't remember if it's DC or Marvel, but they have one character that's, um, this plus sized woman. Who's um, also a sentient piece of space, and she's written kind of well. What? Yeah, long story there. Comic books be weird. So this is going into black hole chan territory, if you remember that. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, when they went to black hole game, people were making not safe work uh, personifications of a black hole. Always remember the penguin that had a waifu, what? or waifu, however the what? fuck it's pronounced. There was like there was like some anime. The portrays a bunch of um, zoo animals as anthropomorphic waifu girls. And um, they did a partnership with this one zoo where they stuck cardboard cutouts of the characters around the zoo. Yeah. But um, one of the penguins ended up like falling in love with the cardboard cutout. Oh, God. The engineer's going to have a lot of fucking work to do with clips on this one. Before or after he senses the, all the swearing. And the conversation about the size of <laughs> Oh, God. Have we talked about my off theory before? 
No, that did say. I genuinely think that Bart is the Grim Reaper. Grim. Like, my theory is that Hugo is the only thing that's actually alive. Which one's Hugo? Hugo's the kids. Oh. Like, Hugo is the only thing that's actually living, and everything else is like Spatras. You know, kind of like Fallout. No, Fallout. It's different. No, Fallout still has the undead. Oh, does it? Yeah. My point, like, everything's undead except for Hugo, which is like the one last living thing, keeping the universe alive. Yeah. What about the Queen? No, I think, like, I think the Queen's just a part of Hugo. Yeah. Like, everything's somehow an extension of Hugo, but Hugo's the only thing that's actually alive. Hmm. And the batter's like the Grim Reaper come to take him so that the new world can start properly. And, like, the reason... Like, my, my theory is that the reason he's the, he's a baseball batter in particular hmm. is because it's the most dangerous thing that Hugo can comprehend. Because... Because he's a kid. This kid and he heard about baseball batters. Hmm. But hang on. That's right, it counts backwards. I was about to say. Oh, this is the prequel, isn't it? Yeah. Or it's further in the future, depending on what you think this game's timeline does. Yeah, isn't there a theory that uh, Hugo becomes the batter? And the people he rescues in the past become the lords in the future? Well, you know... Uh... The other, the other theory is that when you talk to them in the room here, it's um, they're all back from the dead. Hmm. See, this just looks like shit from a completely different game. Into, That's one thing. This is the like the end of the actual world, where the world's still technically alive, just in its dying days. Mm. And last thing is when the world is actually dead. Bitten by a cow. That would explain a lot about Enoch, about Dayton, actually. What? He's just got the mag cow disease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Pretty soon he's going to go around insisting that everyone install bidets in their homes. This is a French game, so... Oh, God, fucking mag cow, Wait, mate. what did he say? What, uh, what day is it? I don't know what day it is. Right, it's the 11th on the calendar. How do I get back to the calendar is the question. There. <laughs> and then Enoch's just stuck in a fucking hole. Mm -hmm. No, there's something no one's ever considered. What if everyone's just really, really fucking tiny and Enoch's regular size? <laughs> like, the apocalypse caused people to shrink just a bit. <laughs> that would explain why the soundtrack's a race of a thousand ants. Oh. I already looked at the date, you bastard, except the answer. Just like, but like instead of the bar, it's Hugo just swearing at him. Oh, it's Tony Yeah. What the fuck, mister? I just told you the date. This is the end of the fucking world and you are worried about your clock not working? Sorry. Uh, the, the the cow disease is starting to affect my brain. Well, and then later on, it's like, alright, I got, uh, or, I, I know the date now and just see him in the gods eating grass saying, oh good, you're back. Now I can reward you of cut with daddy's kosher cut mad cow milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking son. <laughs> she just wants to see the new world. New world order. New world order. Yeah, this is the thing. I think the batter is here to cause, like, he's over the Grim Reaper for Hugo, or here to cause the apocalypse properly. There's my two general theories on this. The fact they don't seem to recognise him. That's why I think uh, this is into the past. Mm. But Alternatively, the back from the dads with, like, no memory. Mm -hmm. Ivor. 
this doesn't appear to be in the same world, so. I think the implications more that the other worlds are artificially created by them. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what we can do to help the big mister. I summon the birds. Alfred Hitchcock would be proud. Wait, Birdemic Chuck and Terry. Is that what ended the world? <laughs> oh dear. This Saturday has been found excellent. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's why I think that um, he could become the better. This is in the past. Alternatively, uh, map pot, map pot theory time. Enoch it's is just a theory. <laughs> no, again. Well, you think Hugo goes up to be Enoch? <laughs> no, no, no. He, spo he was spoiled too much as a child and developed a taste for sugar. No, no. I was going to say, let's do a map pot theory where we just make the evidence up. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, Enoch's bald and calls people boy. So therefore, the only explanation is that Enoch must be Kratos. No, wait, hang on. <laughs> There's four lords, right? Yeah. Who else do we know who has four limbs? Sans. Of course. The battle of Sans. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> four lords, four limbs, someone who has four limbs. It's obvious. And Dejan looks like Papyrus. Theory confirmed. <laughs> yeah, theory confirmed. Oh. Just the fuck. Like, Hugo. Hugo walks out of the room. Ah, Papyrus. You look a lot more Nigerian in the flash. <laughs> oh. Fuck's sake. What if it's the other way around and like this is the Baz repressed memories? That's something because uh, he had to grow up from the kid. No, this is the thing. What if the room's like a weird time travel thing? Yeah, but then in the present, they don't recognise the matter because if... Yeah, but they wouldn't know like, who looks the same as an adult as they look as a kid. No, but the same outfit. The exact same outfit and then, what, 20 years later? No, because Hugo has like just a blanket on his kid. Yeah, but what I'm saying is yeah. So if it's somehow travelling into the bars, if... Uh, that was Hugo. I'm not, I'm not saying travelling's a past, I'm saying like it's literally him reliving his repressed memories, past, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Enoch for Kratos confirms though. <laughs> Hashtag. Boy. <laughs> Hashtag. Matt Pat, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> What's a hashtag now? I remember to. <laughs> it fucking will be. Remember we... to go on to Matt Pat's YouTube channel and smash that dislike button. Oh god. Don't forget to subscribe. And come and like our videos on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. This has been another completely pointless episode. What do you mean pointless? We figured out who Enoch is. True. He's Sans several years before Sans again. No, that would make sense, actually. Now, after Kratos finally died, he becomes a monster and <laughs> uh, becomes Sans. E Enoch is actually just him. Kratos has repressed a desire to eat baked goods. Well, think about it. Kratos, Sans, both have S in the name. Yeah, true. Both of them are the hidden super boss. Oh, God. Both of them are in an indie game. It all makes sense. Because remember, Kratos was in Shovel Knight. Was he? Yeah, Kratos was in Shovel Knight. But if you play, if you play the Xbox version, they've replaced him with Battle Toads, <laughs> which means that frogs are stronger than Kratos. It all makes <laughs> sense. I don't know what the fuck. Wait. What? Actually, the water's about this. It's that white stuff, that strange substance, the water's full of chemicals. It's turning the frogs gay. Oh, God. It's turning all the Greek men into skeletons, Sam. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Kratos isn't used to such cold weather. Uh, all the flesh just, like, froze off his bones, and that's how he became a skeleton. <laughs> the reason why uh, Sans didn't beat the shit out of uh, Kara is he's just holding it, he's just trying to be polite. <laughs> and oh. he doesn't have the muscles anymore, so he just relies on magic. 
I need. I fucking. Do you remember that bit in Snap Cube where like they do Sonic Go Six and Alfred's just like, ah, I've become Sans on your tail when Eggman's glasses start glowing. Yeah, I've become Sans on your tail. Look into my eye. We need like, oh god, fuck me. We need to find find the fucking agent for the guy who voices Kratos at the moment and pay him to say that. What do you think he's like voiceover mic or something? I like I like where you'll do like special quests. He must have a fo- like he must have a fucking email where you can email him for voice work. Well, like, imagine he gets like a hundred day. Hi, uh, Chris, because Christopher Judge at the moment. Hi, Christopher. Yeah. Can you voice um, <laughs> being Eggman from the scene in Snap? <laughs> no, 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 not being Eggman. Just can you voice Cra- Can you voice Sans lines? More Kratos' voice. <laughs> boy, it's children like you should be burning in hell, boy. Oh god, that, it makes sense. That's uh, because how, after dealing with Atreus's shit for all this time, Atreus got killed. You know, he was walking around without a shirt. He eventually froze to death. He had to, you know, have a sh- have the young boy wi- go with him. Had to deal with him. But yeah, he just didn't like kids, and that froze. Him. Yeah, she was like, you should be burning in hell. <laughs> Pirates. He's just wearing Kratos' left off his Spartan armor. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why is this happening? Good. Uh, I gotta call this. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, um... What, fo- Enoch's uh, identity revealed? Fo- follow us on Patreon for exclusive map part shaved bot plugs. About that. So this is better or worse... Then, uh, mm. the Alfred Hitchcock. Start, start, start editing the... No, album. no, no, no. The premium, only for our most premium uh, Patreon <coughs> supporters. The one much bigger than the Hitchcock. The Enoch. Yeah. That will destroy a man. And the only one bigger than that, the Doctor Shake. Yeah, yeah that doesn't count because he's a machine. No, I'm talking about a dildo, the Enoch. Four foot long. Good, this is an absolute travesty. <laughs> Can you imagine that? See, the injuries people would get. We'll see you next time.